Hello and welcome to Otaki the Masculinity. Uh, we're doing something a little bit different today. I'm going solo and I'm going to do something groundbreaking and show you how to make a cocktail on the internet. I know, blazing new territory. Before I talk about the cocktail that I'm going to make, <clears throat> I want to talk about the book that inspired it. This is Amaro by Brad Parsons. Um, I listened to it, or I, I learned about it on another YouTube channel um, and I'm going to link that, uh, his video where he talks about that below. Basically the book just talks about <clears throat> Amari, which is the plural of Amaro, where they come from, what they are. Um, and some cocktails that you can use them in. Quite a few cocktails, actually. Um, the, uh, the cocktail we're going to talk about today is the Smoke and Choke, which is an undeniably funny name for a cocktail. Um, it, it was created by uh, Liam Baer, who is a Bangkok-based uh, bartender. Um, he is basically making it as a takeoff on the Smoking Gun, which is a uh, Ferna Branca and Scotch-based cocktail. Uh, Liam Baer wanted something that was a little more smoky, but he didn't want a peaty cocktail either. So he didn't go with an Isla Scotch like most people might, he went with a Talisker. Now the recipe actually calls for Talisker 10 year. I had Talisker, Talisker Storm um, available here in the bar, so I used that. This is gonna be a little bit younger, but it'll work just fine in the cocktail. Um, <clears throat> so it's gonna come off a little bit less smoky, or a little less peaty, but still fairly smoky, and it's also got some nice brininess in there. It's, it's a really great thing to use uh, as, a, as a sipping scotch or even, a, even in a cocktail. So now that we know what the cocktail is, Let's go ahead and make it. All right, so we're gonna start off with our mixing glass. Uh, you're gonna put a lot of ice in there. <clears throat> Anytime you're mixing anything up, you wanna kinda maximize your ice. You're gonna get, uh, the drink's gonna chill down a lot easier. Um, and you're actually gonna minimize dilution with more ice. Sometimes it sounds a little bit counterintuitive. But basically more ice is gonna bring the temperature down faster, which, is mean, uh, which means less ice is gonna be melting in your cocktail. <clears throat> now I'm actually gonna start, or start my, uh, my uh, cocktail by putting in my scotch first. A lot of people will say when you're, when you're putting together a cocktail, you want to add your most expensive ingredients towards the end. <clears throat> in this case, we really mainly scotch is, is, is the only kind of expensive ingredient and we're mainly just adding syrup, so we should be fine. So we're going to start off with one and a half ounces of our Talisker Storm or uh, Talisker Tenure if that's what you prefer. Well, they're going to go to our Chinar. Now, this is this is the Chinar uh, 70 proof. Also, I should say something about the uh, the pronunciation. All the research I've found says that this is pronounced Chinar with a CH. Um, so, if you have information that says it should be pronounced in a different way, please put it in the comments below. Um, so, uh, this is the 70 proof Chinar. The recipe actually calls for the regular Chinar, which I think is a 34, 35 proof spirit. So, <clears throat> our version is going to be a little more than that. We're going to add one and a half ounces of our chinar. So this is a brown sugar cordial. The recipe's in the book. Basically what it is, is it's a, it's a two to one Demerara uh, simple syrup. So you're going to use uh, two parts Demerara sugar, one part water. This also adds in, uh, I think, two ounces of Demerara rum. I used El Dorado. So we're just going to do one. Keeping bar spoon. The thing with this stuff is it gets pretty thick, so you gotta give it a second. So we're gonna go ahead and get that in there. Now, the uh, cocktail also calls for uh, one dash of, uh, of salt. Now, another thing you can do here is just have yourself a little saline uh, syrup, uh, not really a syrup, a little saline solution where you just put in uh, salt and water and you can just toss a couple of dashes of that in there. I don't have any on hand right at the moment, so I'm just using my my fingers. Uh, the other thing I'm sort of separating with the, the recipe on is this actually calls for a uh, zest of orange to be put into the into the cocktail. Um, I just don't want to do that. I, I don't really like doing that. <clears throat> so we're going to toss in two dashes of orange bitters. And so we'll get that. And we're also we're going to garnish it with, with orange as well. So you get in here, you just want to spin your ice like this. And keep holding your mixing glass here on the bottom. <clears throat> You want to make sure your mixer is getting cold. You want to make sure your, your drink is getting cold. You're going to notice the ice starts to starts to go down a little bit. You're adding a little bit of dilution here, but that's that's just part of what uh, this process is. And as far as mixing, <clears throat> most of your mixing is going to be done in your fingers. You just put the you take the back of your bar spoon, put it down in the back of inside your mixing glass, and you should be just stirring it with your fingers. 
One thing that uh, for, for new uh, home bar enthusiasts that helps out a lot is longer bar spoons. As you can see with something like this, you know, if you've got a, a big mixing glass with a lot of ice in there, you kind of, you don't have a lot of play on the end. So sometimes when you see those big long uh, uh, bar spoons at the bar, um, that's why, because they really do make things easier. So we've gotten that all mixed up. I'm pretty happy with the, with the dilution. So we're going to get out our rocks glass. We're just going to have one nice, uh, one nice ice cube in there. I'm not using clear ice because I'm not cool, but uh, if you have clear ice, you can definitely do that. Now I'm using a regular strainer here, but you could also use a julep strainer. That's a perfectly acceptable way of doing that. Last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna garnish. So we're just gonna garnish with, they say for a, a zest of orange, I'm just gonna use an orange peel, because that's fine. So we're just gonna flame that a little bit. And then we're gonna express that over the glass. If I can, my fingers work. Sometimes you don't get much. Just drop that right into the glass. So there you have your choking smoke. So let's give it a try and see what we think. Um, you're getting a lot of the smoke off of the off of the talisker. Um, the 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 bitterness of the chinar comes in and gives it. I almost want to say a cola like flavor. Um, it's very, very unique. Um, the, the maker of the cocktail said it's not sort of a cocktail for everybody. Um, it is quite bitter, um, but I think the smoke kind of tempers it a little bit. Um, if you're new to this, you might want to add maybe a little bit more of the brown sugar cordial because the sugar in there is going to cut down the bitterness a little bit. I wouldn't put too much more in there though. This cordial, it's a two time, it's it's a two to one syrup. It is going to add a lot of sweetness. So if you go from a bar spoon to let's say like a, even like an eighth of an ounce or like a quarter of an ounce, you're really going to notice a lot of that sweetness in there. But if the bitterness bothers you, you know that that is definitely something to, to take into account. The orange uh, is coming in a little bit. <clears throat> it's sort of more at the edges. Overall, I think this is a really good cocktail. And I definitely picked the wrong size glass to put this in, but. That is your choking smoke. I want to thank you for tuning in. Uh, if you have any questions on this cocktail or if you have any takeoffs that you like or changes that you'd like to make, um, please tell me in the comments. If you have a, 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 a substitution that you might like to make in your cocktails, tell me about that in the, in the comments below. I want to thank you for watching uh, and if you get a chance, uh, like and subscribe. Thank you.